And what I'm really disappointed, especially with, you know, uh, my community, I know Joshua can speak more against this, uh, when it comes to the BLM movement, critical race theory, all these things, um, there are certain blacks that have become envious, they've become jealous because they feel like they haven't been given the right um, to express themselves or have the luxury of people caring about them. And so what has happened is, is that the BLM uh, groups, the critical race theory groups, uh, you see those ideologies are falling short. And now that we have uh, the presence of wars, when we see Israel um, and all these other things, uh, I do feel that blacks, they feel left out because now um, Israel is kind of like the new thing that people are talking about. And so they're really taking offense to something that they really have no idea about. And I had, you know, two people that I grew up with in high school and college uh, get on my Facebook and timeline and say, hey, well, you know, the territory doesn't belong to Israel, this and that. And I knew they were a bunch of lies, but I knew it was coming from a root of bitterness because these are the same guys that were supporting ideologies that never really um, bore fruit. And so what is happening now is, is that, um, again, I'll, I'll speak, you know, candidly in my community. Um, there's a lot of bitterness and envious towards the Jewish community because blacks have felt that they are not getting the due. Um, but I don't want to make that excuse either. I, I reached out to you, Sloan, because I know it's important um, for us to belong, and it's not enough. Uh, for me to treat a brother who may look like me with respect and leave you or anyone else out. Um, th that wouldn't be Christ-like of me, and, and that wouldn't be uh, um, an example that I want to set. So I want to keep, keep the record straight. Um, whether you're Black, Jewish, it, it doesn't matter. I don't think that uh, groups should have the right to bring hatred on someone uh, just because they feel left out in another area, if that makes sense. And I believe that the BLM theories, the critical race theory, all those things um, that haven't bore fruit with the black community are now turning um, itself on its own head. And now we have real, real issues, war with Israel, um, and all these other things, Iron Dome, and, you know, people aren't aware of that. Um, so I think people really have to research and I encourage you know my community to research and, and stop with the hatred and lies, uh, because the more uh, we try to be vile, I feel like against Israel, uh, the more dangerous our society will become. Not, no matter how you've lived your life, you are racist in some way. Like every everybody is, every white person is. Like that's that's the opposite, right? He he. That's that now we're no, we're no longer um, we're no longer making an assessment on someone based on. The sum total of their life, um, we're we're just we're just putting them in in these different categories, and and it gets to a point where it even is um, debilitating, right? There 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 are people who, there are academics who teach these things that you know there may be some black people that are successful, but they're notable exceptions, and and right. even those black people are still um, you know caught in this system of of white supremacy, so it, that basically we'll never get we'll never get out of this. That this is just where we are. This is how we're supposed to be, and the, the the stated goal um, is is not to make a more equitable and, and fair and just world. You know whether whether the people pushing this or whether the people preaching this see it or not. You know it really is a way to it's tearing apart the country. The stated goal is to tear apart the country. It's not it's not to because you know it, um, otherwise we would be talking about ways that we can make things more. Um, equitable for us, right? Uh, you know, op opportunities that we can, there are people who are doing amazing work that um, give people who maybe didn't have a head start a better chance to move forward. And that's just across the board, right? That's white, black, the people who who started off, you know, maybe they didn't have the things that their counterparts had, but that's dismissed as, you know, well, that's great for them, but they're still, everything's in a context of white supremacy. So that that's still not gonna fix what's going on. Um, it's, it is, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of, I mean, not to get deep into this part of it, but it is a lot of 
um, subversion and 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 um, some of it comes from foreign ideologies that have been inserted into this country over decades. Um, you know, with the with the intent with the intent to have this country crumble from the inside. I mean, that's that's really what it is, and a lot of people hold on to it for dear life. The Jewish sisters, um, you know, you know, being attacked really for no reason. Yeah, I mean, thank you. I, I have to say, I'm a pretty strong person. I mean, you guys both know me. I mean, you know, I've spoken about a lot of things and I've been talking about anti-Semitism for a long time. But, you know, I, I will say this is that I'm human and it, it never gets easy, right? When you have your son come home and, and, and you know, as he has and, and upset about being, um, you know, having to defend um, being Jewish and, you know, you know, it, it's part of it's part of who you are, right? I mean, it's part of what we do and who we are. And you know me. I mean, I we don't run, right? We we confront things and we educate. Um, and that's just it's part of being. It's part it's part of the black experience. It's part of the Jewish experience. And by the way, they're both in their own right important, uniquely important, um, and, and and equal. It's just kind of the way that it is. And by the way, and white men have that now where they're going to have to, in fact, that's what critical race theory does. It balkanizes everyone instead of saying, wow, we're Americans and we have unique enemies, right? Um, it doesn't do that. It balkanizes everyone. And so that everyone has to deal with their child coming home and saying, oh my God, I feel like a bad person because of who I am. And it happens with every, whether you're Hispanic, Muslim, male, female, whatever it is. And that's why, um, you know, critical race theory does this. Anti-Semitism, of course, is the oldest hatred, right? Um, and, you know, it, it, it is something that we deal with. But again, I mean, it's even as an activist, even as a longtime activist, it still it still hurts. And so I just want everybody to know that. I mean, when you um, when you come against people for who they are, immutable qualities, they cannot change. It's um, dehumanizing and it's very painful. Um, it, and, and we ought not be teaching that in the classroom.